Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of NCAA Football 13, Nebraska Cornhuskers Dynasty. This is episode 15, and we are getting ready for our big game here against number 10, Wisconsin Badgers, who we played against in just in week 5 of this season. And this will be a great defensive matchup. Now we'll take a look here at the last time we played against, and actually they were the first game of the uh, Big Ten season this year. And there you see we won the game 21-14, to coming away with the last uh, drive here in the fourth quarter, getting the last touchdown there to win the ball game by a possession. So uh, we know it's going to be a defensive game, and we know that we're going to have to put uh, a lot of effort into it and really do a great job when it comes to uh, controlling the ball and also controlling the clock. Uh, so we have to get ready for that here coming up. As you see there, the schedule for other championship games is a big deal because we got a couple guys who are up for the Heisman and who will be playing these ball games here very soon. As you see there, there's some of the guys right there that will be in some big games here coming up. So. Before we head to the field, we'll hear all the pageantry and the excitement for this Big Ten game, and then we'll head into the action. But right now, let's go to Reese Davis for the uh, introduction to the Big Ten championship game. Everybody's all stretched out. Now they're ready to butt heads. The Big Ten about to kick off. That's going to wrap it up here in the studio, but we'll be here to keep you up to date on everything else going on in college football throughout our game. But it's time for ESPN's college football. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit on the call. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler. My partner is Kirk Herbstreit. Aaron Andrews will join us on the sidelines. Tonight's primetime matchup is brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. And it's a matchup between the Wisconsin Badgers and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And here come both teams. This is going to be a fabulous game as these two teams will battle for the conference championship. Kickoff just ahead, but first, let's head to midfield for the coin toss. It's brought to you by Spark, who reminds you that what you can measure, you can improve. Okay, so enough said now with everything that's going on off the field. Let's get ready to get on the field. And we'll see here Burkhead running on the good run right there. We have a flag now, and we'll see who this flag will be on. It looks like it's going to be holding, and it's going to be on the offense. So you see Ben Cotton. Uh, who has not been getting called on too much when it comes to penalties. Gets a penalty on him, so that's a 10-yard penalty. He takes it back now, first and 20. So Martinez drops back, and he's going to look for Bell right there, who catches that catch right there, and gets back our 10 yards there that we lost on that penalty. So now makes it now second and, three, or second and 10. So now we go to third and 10 here, and we'll see Martinez do the little bootleg here. He throws and fires the anyway, who catches that one and gets the first down. So there you see Nebraska right there on that play right there, that slant right right there on anyway, and he catches that one and gets pushed out of bounds, but does get the first down right there for the Cornhuskers. So the Cornhuskers are definitely moving the ball very well against uh, Wisconsin compared to what last time they played against these guys. And then you see a nice run there for Martinez. Gets a short gain right there. So third and nine here. We'll see him drop back, and this time he gets cream, but he is able to throw the ball away. As you see there, that makes now fourth and nine. So now we're going to go for it here, and this one is going to be about a 40 yard attempt here and we'll see it's up and it is good that one gets in there so that'll be a believe close to about a 42 43 yard kick right there for the Cornhuskers as it puts them in the lead there so now first and 10 now for Wisconsin now they have the ball here and we'll see here what O'Brien can do as you see he hands off to Bell and Bell cannot get nowhere at that time as he is dropped right there so uh, We'll see what he can do here. So O'Brien with the ball now. He drops back, and Meredith gets in there, and he gets rocked right there. And that will be a sack right there for the corners because that will now have to face a punt here situation for Wisconsin as they get sacked there behind the line and a big loss right there for the Badgers. So, so far, Nebraska's defense doing very well against the uh, Wisconsin offense. So Martinez drops back. He fires and throws it anyway once again. And a nice catch. That's the second catch of this game. And there you see anyway takes that one. And he is going down there. And he gets dropped right there at the one yard line as he, or excuse me, the two yard line right there as he is gets a nice catch here. We'll see the replay right there as he gets that one. Gets up there and snags it and gets off his feet. And there you see they cannot tackle him as he gets the yards after the catch there and gets to the two yard line. We'll now put Nebraska in great position here to run the ball here. So first and goal, Nebraska here threatening, going to try to get their first timeout, their first uh, touchdown, but first we got a flag here, 
and we'll see a penalty on Wisconsin so that just moves the ball halfway to the distance of the goal so the half yard line here and we'll see here if the Rascal can punch this one in and they oh don't as Burkhead is trucked right there at the line right there so no one moves that time so second goal here we'll see Nebraska try to run this ball once again for Burkhead and this time he gets shut down again behind the line there now making it down third and goal so now their third chance here of trying to get the ball in the end zone and they're unable to that time but wait a minute there's a flag on the field and we'll see where this comes from and it's holding and hopefully it won't be against Nebraska which it is Rodriguez right there gets a penalty called on him and that is a 10 yard penalty and they will go ahead and ex um, Wisconsin will accept that one so now it makes a third and goal here near the t behind the 10 yard line there you see a nice catch right there from Bell on that one right there as that one gets in there that's a touchdown for Nebraska the first touchdown of the game for Nebraska there you see connecting once again and what a great play right there for Nebraska being on the board here now and being 9 nothing in the first quarter here <clears throat> as we'll see here in just a bit here we'll see if the extra point will be good and we'll make it a 10 point lead and there you see it 10 points right there so we'll see here how Nebraska did on this drive three plays took off a minute and one second off the clock you see a nice 12 yard touchdown there from Martinez to Bell so first and 10 now for Wisconsin as the ball is handed off to Ball there and there you see Monty Ball gets a nine yard gain right there and gets the first uh, gets the uh, second and one so second and one a bell, Ball again excuse me uh, gets that ball but he fumbles it and Nebraska is unable to get a hold of that fumble as the lineman there you see for Wisconsin gets the recovery. So as uh, you see here we have a studio update and it says USC is leading by 10 on number two uh, Washington. So they are on upset alert as we are hoping that we can play against Washington in the national championship game. So third and three now for Wisconsin and we'll see here what they'll do here in this possession here as you see O'Brien throws to Peterson and there he catches that one but that one barely gets caught it actually well yeah it's actually a catch so uh, one foot in one foot out and that'll be a first down so Wisconsin in eye formation here it's gonna be another run for ball I almost promise you guys that and there you see ball gets the ball there and there you see he gets tackled for a sh loss there which we'll now make it now second and seven so as we end the first quarter here Nebraska is leading in there 10 to nothing against number 10 of Wisconsin so far Nebraska has been uh, pretty much uh, taking over this game and really doing a great job of holding Wisconsin uh, where they're at right now so it's third and four here early in the first or second quarter here and a nice pass there from O'Brien to Williams where he gets the first down that amazing catch right there great run right there and that'll be a first down so first and ten this is actually literally the next play you guys they do a no huddle here and O'Brien hands off the ball and ball gets tackled there for by Compton get a two yard gain right there on that one and there you see Compton's numbers so far this season uh, with his sacks there eight and a half sacks for the season so O'Brien hands off to ball once again and ball gets around there and does a little juke move there but wait a minute we have a laundry on the field here we got a holding call and this one will be against Wisconsin there as you see uh, Nebraska will accept that and that will be a 10 yard penalty for Wisconsin so second and 18 here we'll see a man in motion here for Wisconsin O'Brien looks back fires and throws to Williams once again nice catch right there and that will be knocked him right out of bounds there short game there and makes it now third and 11 so once again a man in motion here O'Brien looks in a shotgun shotgun position here and he fires this one and Seasley almost nabs that one out of the air and that one is no good as that's an incomplete pass so we'll see here in the next play here they're going for a field goal but wait a minute we got a false start and it looks like it is on the offense there of Wisconsin so Wisconsin will have a penalty here and this will now uh, put them uh, force them to punt the ball so we go ahead and we'll see here Nebraska gets the ball near their own shadow of the goalpost here as you see Burkhead gets a nice run rare right there and there you see 22 touchdowns for him this season so first and 10 ball near the 10-yard line handoff to Burkhead once again great blocking and gets a gain of four that time and which will make it now second and six here so Martinez here in the shotgun position here throws it anyway anyway gets the catch and gets the first down and that's a gain of eight right there and we'll make it now first down Nebraska here so Nebraska now first and ten ball near the 25 yard line here we'll see here where Martinez does a uh, option play there and he is unable to be able to give the ball to Burke as he gets tackled right there and a loss of yardage there behind the line of scrimmage there and a rough hit right there for Martinez so second and 13 Martinez decides he's gonna have to throw this one we have a flag on the field and we'll see where he throws this one he throws a cotton a nice catch and a roll right there from cotton but I think this one's gonna end up coming back because it's a holding call 
and it looks like against uh, looks like Nebraska, yes, Nebraska Spencer Long gets called on that one. That's a 10-yard penalty, and that'll make it now second and 23. So again, Nebraska's gonna have to throw this ball away, and there you see any uh, uh, pass there for Martinez. But wait a minute, we have a holding call here, and this one against again on Spencer Long, and now that will put the ball here near our own six-yard line here. So we're under our goalpost once again here. So second and 28, hand a play action right here for Martinez. He throws, fires. This one goes deep, and Bell catches that one. A big game right there, and that puts us near midfield right there. Great pass from Martinez in that play action. Wisconsin bid on right there. We'll see here where the ball was. And there you see all oh, nice catch over the over the shoulder catch right there. And that will get a first down. So first and ten, Martinez and Nebraska there near the 45-yard line. There you see a nice run right there. Only a one-yard gain from Burkhead as he uh, is doing a great job here already in this ball game here. He's tr trying to get him the Heisman this year. So third and six here. Martinez throws and fires the bell once again. That's another first down. That sounds like Bell now is the go-to guy here when it comes to third down conversions here. So first and ten. Ball still near midfield here. And we'll see a option play right here. And Martinez drops down, gets dropped back there behind the line of scrimmage for two yards. And he just needs to get rid of that ball right there and give it to Burkhead and let Burkhead do something with it, as you see there. He ends up, uh, now we found out he's hurt there. So he'll be out of the game here for a while. So you see Karn's up here. He's doing a play action here. We'll see him run a little bit. He throws and fires. And this one gets tipped away from the defender right there from Wisconsin. And we'll see here it's a penalty, and that's roughing the passer. And that will be against Wisconsin. You see Taylor gets that uh, penalty called upon him. So that's an automatic first down. So first and 10 ball on the 40. Uh, four yard line here in Wisconsin territory and there you see a nice play right there from Burkhead once again pounding round and pound here in this ball game so far and as you see we have a penalty here Ben Cotton once again second time of the night getting called for a penalty here and for holding there so first and 20 now as we lose 10 yards for that penalty here we'll see what Carnes can do here we'll see a little bootleg action he tries to throw that one away as he cannot find anybody it's a little, too much pressure there coming from the defense so we're going to see play action here we had it before we'll see if we try it again here and We'll see if we give it to Ben Cotton. He is, he's running there. He is getting covered right now. But Carnes like, you know what, fine, I'll run it. And he gets it, but it only goes for a gain of nine, which now makes it now fourth and one. And Nebraska has to make a decision if they're going to go for it or go and get the uh, field goal here, or the extra, or, yeah, the field goal here uh, to get a 13-point lead here. So they decide, you know what, we're going to go for it. So with 22 seconds left in the second half here, or in the first half here, in the second quarter there, you see Burkhead get runs there, and he gets a nice run right there. And that will be a first down as Nebraska needs to get in hurry-up mode here as they have 14 seconds left in this second quarter here. So they do call timeout here. We'll see first and 10 here. Hand off to Burkhead, and Burkhead gets trucked right there. No chance at all. A loss of three on that play, and Nebraska has to call a timeout. So second and 13 with nine seconds left. We'll see Carnes here back, going back, looking and firing, throwing a cotton right there. Nice play right there, but a flag on the field. And we'll see where this is going to go to. And it looks like holding and will be on long there. That's his third time now tonight being called in penalties. So coach is going to really have to talk to him as Nebraska has to call timeout to go for this extra or this uh, field goal kick here. And this one is up. This one is back. And this one is short right there. As you see, no good right there. And the clock has expired here in the second quarter as we get ready for halftime here. Nebraska is leading it in this very close game, 10 to nothing against the number 10 team in the nation, Wisconsin Badgers here. So, like I said, it's going to be a very defensive game. Nebraska was not going to be able to run away with it as they have been in the last uh, couple of games and, and several games this season. So we'll have to see what we can do here in the second half to do any kind of adjustments to get ready for this big uh, Big Ten game here. we got to win this game to get to the national championship. So first and 10 there, you see Burkhead gets a handoff right there. And a nice play right there, seven-yard gain right there for him. Makes it now second and three on this drive. So sec uh, third and five here, and we'll see Carnes here. This is an eye formation. Looks like he's going to drop back. He's going to look like he's trying to find Cotton, and he does that time. And a nice catch right there. And that will put first down there. Ball near the 21-yard line. You see Cotton or Carnes there throwing on the run, and then Cotton gets the nice catch right there uh, in the replay. So first and 10 here. We'll see them in eye formation once again, and I'm sure this, they're going to be calling the number 22's number here as he sit gets this one and tries to scramble there as Carnes calls his own number and he gets rocked right there on that play and we'll see here 
Uh, it will be another penalty there. Spencer Long once again gets Coach Bellini to not give him a good talking to as we lose now another 10 yards, so now makes it first and 20. So first and 24, the Rascal Cornhuskers. We see Carnes pitches off to Burkhead, and Burkhead is gone. None but wide open spaces right there. They're going down the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. He is in the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. Nebraska Cornhuskers get a great run right there, and Burkhead apparently breaks the NCAA record of 89 yards in a ball game. Uh, of course, that's uh, it's questionable on those. But there you see a nice run right there. So 89 yards for him for the, on that run right there. And a nice play for him. And for the corner, has to get the big lead there. As you see, four plays, 93 yards. And Burkhead, the big yards of the game so far, 89 yards on that play. So O'Brien now, first and 10 for Wisconsin. He throws this one deep. Seasley's up. Seasley catches that one. And that's an interception right there. And now the ball is down there in Nebraska's own territory at the 20-yard line. And so now we're going to get an update here at the studio. As you see, 27-7. Does not look too good for Washington as they're down by 20 here in this ball game. And the Huskies look like uh, upset alert is going to happen here as uh, the Trojans are going to upset Washington. And Washington's chances for the national championship are going to go by the wayside. So first and 10 there. You see a nice catch for Cotton. He gets a nice catch right there. 10, 11-yard catch right there. First down for Nebraska. So first and 10, Nebraska in eye formation. We'll have Cotton there as you see in man in motion here. And it looks like it's going to be uh, possibly looks like a option play here and it is and Carnes gets there and he cannot get around the corner there as he loses a yard there that time so the option not their friend today here as Wisconsin is doing a great job holding the quarterback there behind the line of scrimmage so second and 11 Carnes drops back and he's trying to think about scrambling he fires this one and that is a bad uh, throw right there that could be easily be an interception right there as he's throwing across his body and now it makes it now third and 11 here so third and 11 we'll see what Nebraska is going to do here as you see my bad editing right there I didn't mean to show that one. So third and 11 here. We'll see here what Nebraska will do here. This one's going to be a long pass here. And I guarantee it's going to go deep. And I'm going to say it's going to go. Nope. It's just going to go to the tight end of Cotton. But he is unable to connect right there. As Carnes has to throw that way because of pressure right there. So first and 10 now for Wisconsin. As you see O'Brien right there. He drops back. He fires. He's trying to throw this one deep. And he does. There you see Person gets that one. He is gone, you guys. There's nobody going to be able to catch him as he gets to the end zone. And Wisconsin's on the board finally for the day here. Now gets a new ball game started here. Now it's going to 6 to 10 here as you see this nice play and a nice run here by him and that's an 83 yard re reception there for Parsons so there you see we'll see here 17 6 here and it'll make it now 7 17 as Nebraska leads it by 10 here early in the late part of the third quarter here so with 340 left Nebraska has the ball here first and 10 Ball near the 25-yard line, and then you see Burkhead gets a nice run, and he gets pulled down right there and tackle, and he cannot go nowhere. So now it makes it now third and 10 here, as we see here. I formation once again. Carnes drops back. He is looking for Bell, and Bell gets that one, and Bell gets tackled down there by the 42-yard line, and there you see five receptions, 85 yards, and one touchdown there for Kenny Bell here in this ball game. So first and 10 for Nebraska here. We'll see. Uh, if they can we'll go deep here this time. It looks like Karn sees something in the defense, so he's going to change the play up. He throws this one deep and throws it anyway. Nice catch right there from anyway, who does a nice little curl route there and comes back to the ball and gets the catch and gets the first down. So first and 10 here, ball on the other side of the midfield, and we'll see here Nebraska and going to run this ball here with Burkhead. He gets a nice run there, but wait a minute, we have a flag on the field, and this one maybe end up coming back as you see a holding call here. And it will be Ben Cotton there once again. What is his deal today? Not playing a really good game when it comes to blocking as he gets another holding call on. I think that's his, his uh, fourth or fifth call in this game. So first and 19 here for Nebraska. We'll see here another run here for Burkhead. And this one gets a nice run right there. But wait a minute. A flag on the field once again. I think Burkhead might be hit. He might be a little upset with his lineman here. As you see now, this time it's Taylor Moore who gets the penalty call. So now we go back another 10 yards, making it now first and 29. Not Your guys are killing us here. So we'll see here probably another run here by Burkhead, which is probably not the best thing to do. But they go ahead and do it anyway as Burkhead runs there, and he gets it, and he only gets a yard that time, making it second and 28. So once again, in eye formation, looks like this time they're going to try to run to the right side over here. And we'll see here. Actually, no, it's going to be look like a play action. And he throws this one, Carnes does, and unable to get there as he 
gets hit there, but there's a, another penalty there, and again, killing us on this holding call. Rodriguez this time now makes it now 4th and 28, so we have no choice but to punt the ball. So, Wisconsin gets the ball here near the 35-yard line in their own territory here. So, handoff to Monty Ball, and there you see Ball gets rocked right there as he loses a get loss of 2 that time for that drive. So, 2nd and 2, they go for a no huddle. O'Brien drops back. He looks. He fires and throws to his receiver right there. And wait a minute. We have a flag on here on the field. We'll see what this is. And it is rough in the passer, and that will go against Nebraska. And you see Whaley gets that penalty caught up on him. That's an automatic first down, and that will put them near midfield. So, O'Brien drops back. Fake play action. There you see Green catches this one. Interception. Nebraska gets the ball back. And a nice play by Green. He catches that one and takes that one and tries to go for a pick six right there. So 11 seconds left in the third quarter here. Nebraska in eye formation once again. Burkhead trying to run. He block, takes down one guy, but gets tackled by several others there for a loss of three. And there you see the uh, other teammates there just disgusted with the way the uh, blocking is so far in this game. As you see, Burkhead cannot go nowhere. So at the end of the third quarter here, Nebraska leads it by 10, 17 to 7 here, as Nebraska's having a hard time when it comes to offense to moving this ball with a lot of uh, offensive penalties of holding here, uh, especially uh, from some uh, penalties coming from Ben Cotton, which is kind of not really him, uh, the way he plays here. So he's having a tough time today here in this ball game. So second and 13, Carnes drops back and fires and throws the bell right there. A nice catch from Bell, but wait a minute, we got a penalty here. We'll see what this is, and it's holding. Jeez, again, and you see this time by our wide receiver anyway, who gets penalized for holding there. So now that makes it now second and 13. So, again, Nebraska tries again. This time they're going for another pass here, and Bell catches this one, and a nice catch right there. We get the 10 yards, and we were short of there. So now it makes it now thir third and three now, and we'll see if we can try to convert here. As you see, Bell catches that one. I don't know why he stutter stepped there, but it looks like he's trying to change direction or so. But we'll see here in eye formation once again for Nebraska. This time they run the ball and try to run up the gut, and they can. As you see, Burkhead is stopped there at the line, and that does no gain of anything. As you see there, fourth and third, we have to punt the ball. So Monty Ball now gets the ball. He has a tough time getting out of the, behind the backfield as he loses a, a, a yard of three yards, making it now third and 13. So we'll see here. Uh, uh, Wisconsin here at third and 13. They're going to try to go deep here this time. And they go short there. You see Williams gets the catch, but is short of four yards to convert for the first down as they go a short pass here to get a big gain. And does not work for them at this point. As you see, they're there. They get tackled there. And that will have forced them to punt the ball. So first and 10 for Nebraska here. 17 7, still the score here. Martinez hands off to Burkhead. And a nice play right here from Burkhead as he gets tackled there and gets a gain of one. So second and nine here for Nebraska. And it's going to be another run here as we're trying to run down the clock. Burkhead gets the run. A nice run right there. He gets the nine yards plus a little bit more, making it now first and 10 for Nebraska and really keeping that clock going. So clock still running here in Nebraska, trying to do their best to run the clock down. And put the more put the pressure on Wisconsin, but you see a nice run right there from Burkhead. But wait a minute, another field, another flag here, and we'll see it's holding. And this time it will be on Ben Cotton once again. I believe that's his his fifth or sixth penalty now in this ball game. You guys uh, let me know in the comments section how many penalties that was for him. Uh, playing very uncharacteristic of him in this ball game. Uh, there you see a nice again another run there, and again Burkhead just working like a workhorse that he is, trying to get this clock going and keep his. Uh, Keep his team, his offense here on the here on the field. There you see a nice pass right there, but this one gets picked off right there. That is, Mar uh, I believe, uh, Karn's first pick of the day. As you see there, he is shaking his head and cannot believe that he gave that one up. As you see there, Wisconsin fans very happy, thinking, "Man, we got, come back in this game." Or I should say, that was Martinez throwing that one. He's back in the ball game, and there you see a uh, pick right there. So. Wisconsin has the ball now, have an opportunity to be within a field goal if they can score here. And O'Brien drops back and really gets in there, and he gets the sack on O'Brien. as That's a loss right there of eight, making it now second and 18. So now they're going to have to go deep here with less than two minutes left in the fourth quarter here. And you see O'Brien throws to his receiver right there, and Seasley gets the tackle right there, and they get a short gain of eight. So third and 10 here, O'Brien throws again, throws to Williams, and Compton hits him, but this time pushes him for the first down so now they're going to go no huddle here as they only have a minute and a half left in this game here so first and 10 for wisconsin o'brien drops back he looks he heaves this one this one's going deep this one's going back and green bats it down right there and what a play right there for nebraska's secondary as they're trying to do their best to keep them out of the end zone here as you see this time another 
throw, and that one gets caught by Stafford. He catches that one in the end zone, and that interception may be the ball game right there. Nebraska gets the ball back in that interception as Stafford gets there and gets that one up there. We'll see the replay here. He jumps up there and snags that one, and that's going to be a touchback, and that ball will be on the 20-yard line. So Nebraska now has uh, the clock now. They can run this one by just simply running the ball here as they do here with Burkhead, and Burkhead gets a nice gain right there at five that time, and Wisconsin's forced to take a timeout. So 17 to 7 here, a minute left still in the ball game here. We'll see what Nebraska will do again. They will run the ball and make sure to keep the clock going. And there you see Wisconsin cannot stop them as they get the first down and they have to call a timeout. So first and 10, Burkhead runs again. And we'll see here, he's just short, a yard short of his first down. And again, Wisconsin has to burn the last timeout here. As we'll see the replay here, Nebraska doing a great job when it comes to the clock using Burkhead the way they need to by keeping the clock ran. So uh, here we go. First and or second and one here. Burkhead gets a nice run, and there he goes across the sideline. Gets before he gets pushed out there, there near the 46 yard line. So first and ten, still under a minute left in the ball game here, and nice run right there as Wisconsin jump gets a good jump, but cannot stop uh, Burkhead on that run. So now here we'll see another run here, and I believe Ubadala is on the field here as we'll see here. We'll run down the last. Uh, 20 seconds here on the, the clock here. Play clock is running down to four. And there you see a nice run right here. That'll be another first down. And he gets tackled there at the 25 with nine seconds left in the ball game. That is it. Nebraska wins it, holds onto the ball, and wins it in a great victory. Winning the game 17-7. to seven. Nebraska wins it. You see Martinez very happy with the win. Uh, he had a great game with the only setback of having the interception there. But we'll see here the final score is 17-10. Wisconsin loses this one, and again, like I said, it was going to be a very defensive game. Nebraska took advantage of the uh, opportunities, with, especially with the picks, and they uh, and doing a great job with the clock management when it came to playing against Wisconsin. So these two teams will meet up again here, uh, hopefully next year, and we'll see another great game between these two teams here. But we'll see who the player of the game is here in just a bit. But we are now Big Ten champions, and we're next stop will be the national championship. But the question is, who will we play? Because uh, last uh, we, last time we checked, uh, Washington was losing by 20 uh, in that ball game against USC. So we'll have to see who will play for the national championship. As you see there, we are named the Big Ten champions of the 2013-2014 season. So as you see here, see the highlights of the game here. And uh, just great play by everybody here. With the exception of the O-line, just for some reason, had a tough night tonight being called upon on penalties of holding. I uh, did see too many holding calls there on the Wisconsin um, Badgers offensive line. Uh, of course, a lot of times the game is kind of quirky like that when it does that, and you just got to find other ways of getting around that, um, those penalties and whatnot. But there you see that nice play right there. That's the only touchdown they got in the game as he runs this one deep for that nice, uh, pit, a nice play right there. Uh, I was very impressed with that. Was not look, was really wasn't looking for them to go deep. And there you see the interception that really capped the game off right there for Stanford. As he gets that one, and that's a touchback, and that starts the uh, start the clock there, and getting this victory. So uh, we can't uh, now. We just have to sit back and wait to find out who we play in the national championship. So there, you guys can see the numbers there for all the guys there uh, for Nebraska. You see eight of twelve for Martinez, one touchdown and one interception, 146 yards for him for the day. Uh, Carnes six of 14, 72 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Burkhead. Uh, 22 rushes of 166 yards, one touchdown as long as 89 yards that we've seen here in the ball game. And then we'll go to receiving uh, Kenny Bell, six uh, six receptions, 95 yards. Anyway, four receptions, 89 yards. Bell does have the only touchdown uh, reception there in the ball game. And then of course there's the stats right there. Uh, I believe uh, we Seasley, Green, and Stafford all had interceptions. And there you see the blocking there for the Cornhuskers. So. Let's go see here who we're going to play here in just a bit for the national championship. Uh, I don't can't remember who was in three in the three spot or the four spot, but I'm sure someone's leapfrogged and got themselves into the number one or number two position here uh, for the BCS championship game. So there you see uh, the trophy for the Big Ten championship there, and what a beautiful championship that is. I uh, can't wait to put that in the trophy room. But now we, our goal now is for the national championship. So we'll have to see who we're playing for the national championship here in just a bit. And we'll see here who it is, and we'll advance the week here. And uh, like I say, it's gonna be—I um, can't I, honestly, I can't remember. If you guys remember who it was? Let me know. Uh, but we'll see here in just a bit. I can't remember who was uh, in the top five, but I'm sure it's gonna be a very good game, uh, like most of my national championships games are. 
uh, that I play in, they always come close down the wire, and they uh, are just uh, very nerve-wracking at times. So we'll see here who is going to go to the national championship here in just a bit here. Any time now. <laughs> I think I did some bad editing here. Uh, but we'll see here who is the champ of, uh, or who is the uh, winner. Okay, here we go. Here's the winner for the 2012 Heisman, and it is Montel Harris of Temple. Uh, so Burkett came in second place there for the Heisman. So, uh, you know, kind of upsetting. We did a lot of, we had a lot of good games. Of course, we probably need to run the ball a little bit more, uh, I believe, in the game before the, uh, this uh, championship game. Um, uh, the Iowa game, he had a bad game in. Uh, so we'll see some of the awards here. Burkhead got the Walter Camp Award. Uh, and then we'll see, uh, got a Will Compton get the Chuck uh, Benarchy Award. Uh, Compton gets the uh, Mizaki uh, Trophy. And Burkhead also gets the uh, Walker Running Back Award. So big ups to him. Uh, and then the Lombardi Award right there for Meredith. Uh, great year for him. Compton gets Linebacker of the Year. So Nebraska can definitely get some good trophies here. Kenny Bell gets the Returner of the Year. Uh, so we got a lot of good trophies, but of course we want the main trophy. And there you see it, the national championship will be between two former Big 12 teams, Nebraska versus Oklahoma. Oh boy, this is <laughs> this is going to be a game. Uh, in years past, when I played against Oklahoma, when I when when I used to play as Nebraska in the Big uh, 10, they were some uh, pretty cutthroat games. As you see there, they're 10 and 2 for the year, 7 and 2 in the Big 10 or the Big 12. And like I say, it's going to be a very very tough game uh, with those guys. I I can almost say. Uh, we'll probably end up going to overtime uh, for try to get to win the national championship. Uh, usually, games with Oklahoma are just are a nail biter. I hate, I really do hate playing them. I really do. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, so there you see the rest of the top 25. They're not official, uh, not the official uh, end of the year top 25. But there you see some of your uh, some of the teams there. If you guys want to see your team, just pause the video and check out who's what and where there. You see uh, Wisconsin drop from 10 to 15. After losing against us uh, now, tw what twice now in the year? So uh, we'll see here uh, the uh, coaches poll there, and of course uh, Oklahoma there at number two. So these are some of the bowl games there. You guys can check out there also. I just decided to put that up there. See, uh, some of you guys probably want to know who's playing what bowl game, um, and you know, because uh, a lot of guys, some of you guys out there are, are like they want to know who's in what and, and whatnot. And I'm not gonna really get into a lot of those, uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, it's gonna be a tough game against Oklahoma because uh, in years past I've I've uh, you know won by just barely the skin of my teeth other years I've gotten just for some reason the last you know two minutes of the fourth quarter they just blow just blow the doors off me and I'm just kind of shaking my head like what went wrong so we'll have to see how this game goes here um, in this uh, series here so it's gonna be very interesting to see two former rivals go against one another of course now uh, you know Nebraska's in the Big Ten and Oklahoma is still in the Big 12. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this season ends, uh, hopefully with a national championship win. So definitely come on back, you guys, for a, another episode of NCAA football, uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers Dynasty. We'll, play, we'll be in the national championship game against number two, Oklahoma. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Check out other great series here on ESGN Net. And also check us out on Facebook, t uh, Twitter, and Tumblr. The links are down below in the description. And just uh, go out, just uh, get the word out and support the channel as much as possible. So that is it for this episode, you guys. Definitely come on back for the national championship game in episode 16. As always, keep yourself healthy, and I'll see you guys next time.